Hey everybody, this is Sully, Five Freaking Onion Rings, and I have an easy one today. I just wanted to show you something new. If you'll notice, I am running Beta Flight Configurator 10.8, and I flashed Beta Flight 4.3, one of the development versions, last night on my live stream, and I have that video up, but um, it's a long, convoluted video. I wanted to show something in here that I found was interesting. So, in Beta Flight, in the new version, there's reorder motors on the motors tab and uh, I'm I am holding off on doing 4.3 as a reviewer as an install because it's just so new uh, there's not that much that I, I've seen or read about that's new but one thing I did see is that on the motors tab there's reorder motors so once you flash and I'm using Jazz Maverick 16.73 um, version of ESC so that I can use RPM filtering. There is a problem with Jazz Maverick after 16.73 that uh, basically after 16.73 it doesn't work with RPM filtering as easily or th there's something wrong with it so it's not the recommended version. So I'm using 16.73 and I have several videos on how to install that and if you want me to do another one that's shorter I can. But um, I'm seeing in the configuration D shot through 300, uh, 12 motor poles, and 4K, which with this bi directional D shot enables RPM filtering. So that's good. And when you go to motors tab, though, uh, that's one thing on it. When uh, you plug in, you'll get 0% error rating. That's great. Everything's good here. And you check your motors, make sure they spin. Um, and you will see I have props off. I have props off because it will spin the motors and I don't want anyone to lose a finger. And if you don't think you'll lose a finger, I guarantee you you'll lose a finger <laughs> if you don't obey that. But um, we're just checking here and very simply it spins the motors. Yay! But what I noticed that was new is that you can reorder motors. And it's really cool. Uh, it pops up safety notice remove all props these motors will spin up I understand props are removed now I want to show you what happens here so we have quad here I understand the risks I'm hitting start and it's spinning motor one for me these are correct motors it spins it I actually just click the wrong one so I'm going to have to redo these so you see it's spinning the motors and now I have the wrong motors. <laughs> uh, so whenever I go back in here, if I spin motor one, it's now spinning what should be motor four. So I just remap my motors literally in seconds. Um, so I thought that was really cool because every, every one of us has put in an ESC and accidentally you know if you're doing the solder points to the motors tab you've put the wrong the wrong motors in the wrong places it's so easy to do and it's such a pain to change in CLI that I literally I, I used to hate it and I would go back through and resolder well now I don't have to resolder so now I'm testing motor one it's good is motor one good Motor 1 is not good. It did not save. So, see? Motor 1 did not save. This is why I do these things live sometimes. I think I clicked the wrong ones. Start. I did. So, now... Oh, because it's now spinning what it thinks is Motor 1, it's actually spinning Motor 4. Alright, now it's spinning Motor 3. Now it's spinning Motor... 1. And now it's spinning motor two. And there we go, save. So as you can see, I messed up and messed myself up in real time because I'm not going to edit this. So right now it's spinning motor one, motor two, motor three, yep, and motor four. Sweet. So there you have it in real time, you can update your motor order literally in the beta flight tab just that fast and I just did it three times in probably two minutes 
uh, without having to go fumble around with ESC or CLI codes without having to do anything. I thought this was one of the coolest things, especially if you build your own quads because it is so freaking easy, so easy to mess up your motor order. So now whenever it spins a motor, you just click on it and it pops right up for you. So I thought that was that was really cool. Once again though, um, that's, that's it for this video, but I did want to say once again, if you do have uh, any of the Jazz Maverick versions after 16.73, after 16.73, they do not work with RPM filtering easily. They, they may work for you, but there is a bug in the code. So I wanted to make sure people weren't using anything later. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, you just don't use a later version than 16.7.3. And uh, that's going to do it. So anyway, if you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up. Like down below. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. I want to thank you again. Thanks for hanging out with me on the live stream whenever I did this in real time and just discovered it as far as 14 or beta flight 4.3 goes i won't do an actual video on it until um you know something substantial comes with it and i can get some documentation i haven't gotten any i haven't really read over it yet because it's it's just in the it's more of a name change i do have links down below if you want to do use the jenkins beta flight out of chrome which is the way i always use it I, it's normally the most up-to-date beta flight configurator version and other than that, y'all have a good day. Thank you so much, and we will talk to you later.